Hey, welcome back to another Java tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you all about the static method in Java, how it's used and how it's different than a regular method. But first, if you're new here, my name is Alex. On this channel, I post a Java tutorial just like this one every single week. Also, if you want a job in tech, there's a coding bootcamp I highly recommend along with $1,000 off. All that information is in the link down in the description. So let's start learning about static methods in Java by starting a new project together. We'll go to new Java project. We'll call this something like my project, hit finish, and then in the source folder, go to new class. We'll call this something like main, hit this public static void main checkbox, and then hit finish. A static method in Java means it belongs to the class itself rather than an instance of a class. And I know that sounds really confusing. I wouldn't have known what that meant even in college. So let's just write it down. Instance of class versus class itself. So let's make a method that is static and one that is not static. This one will be static. It won't return anything and we'll just call it say hi. This is going to print out hi. And then we'll have another one here that is not static. And this one will be something like, how about say pancake? And this one will say pancake. If we want to call say hi, we can do that super easily by just typing say hi. And if we run this, we'll see hi gets printed out. If we want to call say pancake, say pancake, we get a red underline. We can't call it this way. So let's remind ourselves again with a little better comment here. So static method means the method belongs to the class itself. And then a non-static method means it belongs to the instance of a class. This first one is static, so we'll put that with the right labels. An instance of a class means you have to do this. Since our class name is main, we have to define it. Main, we'll call it m equals new main. This creates a main object from the main class. So m is the object and main is the class. m is the instance of this main class. So if we do m dot, the error goes away. If we save and run this, we'll see hi and then pancake. Because when we click the green run button, we run code in the main methods curly braces. The first line is just a comment. The next line is calling the say hi method. And we can do that since it's static, it belongs to the class, so it has access to it. So we can call it and run the code inside of here, which is why we get hi. Next we see another comment and we create an instance of the main class called m. Since non-static methods belong to the instance of a class, we can call it like this and it works. So we run the code inside of state, state pancake and we see pancake. I know it can be pretty confusing, but the big difference is how you call it. You can call it directly or you have to call it through making this first and then doing that and dot the method. Let's do another simple example here. We'll remove both of these. Let's say that method's in another class. So if we go to new class, we'll call this something like other class. And um, I actually shouldn't have deleted those. I should just copy them over. So I'm just going to copy them and put that in here. To access the static method versus the regular method is the exact same way. So if we want to call say hi from the main class, we would do say hi, except now, since it's in a different class rather than the same class, we have to say which class it belongs to. So other class dot say hi. This is the class itself. A static method belongs to the class itself, whereas a non-static method belongs to the instance of a class. So we have to call that something like O. We created an instance of a class called O here. So we have to do o dot say pancake. Save and run, and we get the result as expected here. You could also do o dot say hi. We see say hi here. So if we call it like that, you get this yellow underline. 
it will still work, but it's saying that this static method, see, stay, say hi, has the static keyword. Since it's static, it really should be called like this instead of like this. So you would just change that to a class name and then the method. So I'm just going to leave it there. That's really as simple as it is. The words static, non-static, class, instance, and object are all like pretty confusing when jumbled together like that. But the key takeaway I want you to get from this is that static, you call like this, or if it's in the same class, you don't need that. And non-static methods, you call like this. You have to define the instance of a class first and then call it through that dot after the variable name. So I hope this helped you and I'll see you in the next video.